Another early field of corn here in Fayette County. I'm Ty Higgins on the Ohio Agnet, riding shotgun with James Jacobs. And uh, you might know James not only because he's a farmer here in Fayette County, but he also works with C Consultants Incorporated. And I've had him on a couple of times on the Ohio Agnet and in a couple of articles for Ohio's Country Journal. And uh, James, uh, kind of tell us, uh, we were just to your neighbors to the east here in Pickaway County last week. How did things go for the growing season here in Fayette? Well, for the most part, uh, we were lucky enough to get an early start. Um, April 22nd, I believe this field here that we're in right now is when I first got to, able to get into it. Um, so we had a good start here on some of the early stuff, our tiled ground. This field particularly was uh, had tile in it, uh, put new tile in it, uh, systematically tiled this past fall. and. Uh, so it was a little bit drier, we was able to get on this a little bit earlier, so things went pretty well. Uh, of course, everybody knows we had a lot of rain early, um, which I think uh, the corn didn't root down quite like I'd like to see it do. I like, like to see it happen. I like to see it get a little bit dry there uh, about June, uh, let that corn root down, have a good root system under it. Um, so I feel we don't, we don't have quite the root system as we should have, but uh, Running right through here, we're still getting pretty good corn yields. Um, uh, you know, here it's right in this area here, we're hitting 250s. Uh, we've got a 192 average right now, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with what we have. Uh, I think late July there, uh, about the second, third week of July, we uh, didn't get much rain. It, it lasted for a few weeks there into August. And I think that hurt the top end yield a little bit. You know, I think we're probably down 20% from what we should have been getting. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, you know, I'm, I'll live with 200 bushel corn average, uh, especially with prices going where they're going. Uh, I'm tickled to death uh, to have what we're having. Uh, this particular variety, it seemed like it, uh, as I've seen everywhere uh, this year, we had a lot of uh, leaf disease issues. Uh, this field was sprayed with uh, headline. Uh, but it seemed like northern corn leaf blight hit this early. And usually, typically, we don't see northern corn leaf blight show up until later in the season. And uh, it seemed to hit a little bit earlier this year. We just had the right growing conditions, the right environment for uh, fungal disease. And uh, we're seeing a lot more of it out here. So I'm not willing to let this corn sit out here. And uh, I'm worried about stock issues, stuff like that. So. Wind is not our friend, and uh, I'm trying to get it out as uh, timely as I can, uh, even if that means I'm taking a little bit of moisture hit. But uh, right now it's averaging about 23 to 24%, so taking advantage of it and uh, making the best of the situation. While I have you here, let's talk shop just for a minute. Uh, you obviously work, work for seed consultants, and you're right about where you were as far as seed sales this time a year ago, but you say a lot of guys out there just kind of reluctant to uh, make a decision here at this point because they're not quite sure what's going to happen here in the next couple of weeks or a couple of months. Kind of talk to me about uh, how you even maybe don't know what you uh, might be doing for 2015. Well, it's a, it's a real tough decision. I mean, there's a lot of things can happen in this market, uh, Ty, that uh, can change. Uh, they're talking early frost up, up north. Uh, that can have an impact on the market, of course. Uh, you know, it was a long, drawn-out season, especially for the guys up north. Uh, they had a lot of water damage early, uh, a lot of replanting going on. Uh, I think guys are just wore out, you know. Uh, they want to get this season over with. They really haven't concentrated on next year's. Uh, I try to encourage guys, you know, at least uh, put a tentative order in, you know, at least capture some early discounts. Uh, they can uh, make a better return on their investment, uh, save some money here and there where they can. Uh, you know, they're not binded to it or anything like that, but uh, a great way to get something on the books and we can always critique it later. And, uh, I know guys are reluctant about, they're not sure what they're gonna do, plant corn or soybeans, but we all know that they're all gonna plant something. So. Uh, my feeling on it is to put something tentative down and uh, get that on order. At least you, at least you save yourself some money. Save yourself some money there, uh, and maybe get some of the varieties and hybrids you want locked in. So that's my thought on that. Ty. James Jacobs, a farmer here in Fayette County, and also with Seed Consultants Incorporated, my guest for another early calf cam here on the 9th of September. I'm Ty Higgins for the Ohio Agnet, and we'll see you down the road.